Hey, it's just so Trish, and as many of y'all know, I am going to be teaching, uh, we're doing classical conversations this year, and part of getting into classical conversations this year is that I've been teaching and directing Challenge A. So I am in my favorite coffee shop, but I'm using the microphone, so hopefully it'll be so much better for noise. Um, and I kind of want to tell you like what it's like getting ready to be a director, especially somebody who's never done classical conversations before. So today is Saturday, part of Vita, video every day of August, and we begin on Tuesday. And I'm not quite ready, but I'm well trained and I'm well kind of prepared. So going back a little bit, um, we I finally got the full taste of classical conversations. I did a video I'll put up here about, and I'll put it down there in the description, about um, my experience attending open house for classical conversations and the whole nine yards. It wasn't the open house that really changed my mind uh, or really influenced me about classical conversations. It was the windows into challenge. So if you ever have an opportunity to go to a windows into challenge um, informational meeting, go. It was it was definitely game changer for me. So. And if you want to find that, just go to Classical Conversations, I think, .com and look under events and you'll see if there's one ever happening and just go ahead and go. And when I watched the when when I was participating in Windows to Challenge, I realized my destination I had for my kids' homeschooling is the same destination that they have. And all of a sudden I realized I don't have to do this by myself. And I really can connect with somebody who really legit has the same path and from there I went to an open house and had that experience and really then understood the mechanics behind fundamental foundations and essentials so I spoke to the director and wanted to know this was about February yeah February to the director what it would take to be now part of that community and I have so many kids and well, in order to be part of that directory, be in that community, I told her, I said, I will do anything I need to do to be in that community. Even if it means teaching. Even if it means teaching. And so I took on and I agreed to become the director of challenge. Wowzers. So I didn't really quite know what I was getting into. I did go and sample it and it just seemed like they did an hour and an hour and an hour of all these different things and they ran through it. And I liked the fact that it changed a lot. So I knew that was something that would definitely be able to handle for me mentally as somebody with ADHD. So I filled out my paperwork. There's a lot of paperwork. You fill out a lot of paperwork, a lot of testimonies. I mean, it is, but you, you would have your person you know, walk you through that. And I filled out all the paperwork. I did a background test, our background check and the whole nine yards. And I finished that part up. And then I got accepted. I got accepted as a director. And then I had to do director's training. You know, so one of the things I wasn't prepared and one of the things I really love about classical conversations is the fact that there's so much training going on. They, you're not sent out with, here's our vision, go do it. It's here's our vision and here's every bit of it being your vision and how to apply them and, and go forth. So the first part I had to do with all the other new directors is get director training on all the legalities and the logistics of being a director. And then after that, actually I had to go get training to be a challenge, to teach challenge A. And that was three days, I think three or four hours three hours for three days, nine hours total maybe. I'm not real sure. I should have done this when it was quieter, but this is how it is. So I did that. And then the really cool part is on top of all of that, I have all this training online to do. And actually I had to do assignments um, for it. So I'm three days up. I've had two parent orientations and I had a Lost Tools of Writing workshop for my parents that I led all three of. And I've had a lot of holding your hand, Latin's going to be great. You know, those are the things I've done so far. And now I'm sitting on Saturday going, I need to have my lesson plan. So the really cool part about doing Challenge A and doing the Challenge Program is it's not really about me teaching 
the um, strands or subjects, it's about me teaching the kids to ask questions and hold good conversation. And we use these subjects as our base. And now there's assignments that go with it. You know, so it's definitely not like there's no assignments, but I'm not grading anything. I'm not, um, you know, I'm not grading it. And per se, you know, the parents still grade it. So what has it taken to get this far? A lot of reading, a lot of reading. Um, I'm gonna tell you the idea of doing Latin was very scary for me. So I have my Latin books. I at first thought we could do Latin by, we all shared a set of books. So that's, I have two of my children and myself doing Latin Challenge A. And I quickly realized we all need our own set of books. So I did get our own set of books. And one of the things I did was I had them cut and I had the covers hard laminated with it. So the trick to getting this cut without losing papers, because you'll hear conversations about the holes getting put into the text, is you're paying for three cuts. You want to cut it in the middle. So they're gonna open the book, cut it down the middle. So you have two little booklets, and then with the two booklets, they're gonna cut the binding off each one, each side, so it's three cuts. Pay for the three cuts. As a CC member, you have the Office Depot card. You should get that from your director. Huge difference in price. I mean, just phenomenal difference in price. Makes it totally doable. Um, and do the same for this one. So it got my own. I have been a bit nervous. Mine's tabbed as a director would tab it, which means this is how far I'm teaching for the first session. This is how far I'm teaching for the second session, the third session, and so forth. And I think this one I did blue because it's a review kind of deal. And that's a review. I don't know. But that's what I'm covering each week. And so that means I have to read this. I'm going to tell you, we had a lot of... Um, even when my son looked at this book, he was instantly like, no, thank you. I don't want to do this. And I had to hold his hand. And one of, and I'll have some tips and tricks in getting your reluctant Latin learner to read your Henley Latin book. Should be a great video I could get out. Because we have made a lot of strides. Um, so it has required me to read ahead. And what's really cool is, you know, so the part too about being with Challenge, you can't buy a guide. Your, um, the guides are actually free, but you have to be a member and your um, director hands them out. So hopefully you can still hear me and it's not gonna be a problem with all the background noise. But what's really, really cool is you would get the director's part. And what's cool is like, this is what the kids have to do before they come to community. And this is what I have to cover in community. So the parents know exactly what's going on. I know this is what I have. I have exactly what the parents have. But, and that's it. Like I have the same books, I have the same guide. You know, and I have to tell you the ownership side of being a director versus being a parent going, what are we gonna cover? Um, I take ownership in knowing that I need to know it versus as a, I know what I would be like as a parent. I would look over and I'd be like, oh, this is what I gotta do, okay. And I wouldn't really own it. The next part is I have training on the portal that shows me how to present it. And it's been a lot of fun. It has been so much fun. I've had some of the best times doing my parent workshops. In fact, I look forward to those more than community days because they are so much fun. So what our um, students will be required to do is we're gonna read 10 books. And in those 10 books, we um, go through a series of three weeks of writing lessons that go with that book and we evolve our persuasive writing over and over and over each time throughout the 10 essays. And we get 10 essays. I'm only trying to stay just ahead. I will tell you that I have so much going on. You know a lot of what I've got going on. Um, I'm staying just ahead and about two to three weeks out and some cases a week out according to what's going on. So what I've enjoyed doing is having the parent time and talking about how to do the writing lessons. And we sit down and we do it. We go have coffee, we get out late at night, we pick a fun topic to write persuasively about, and then we work through it. And it has been so much fun. So I actually look forward to those throughout the year. And so I do that. The other one I promised to kind of do for my parents, and just as much for me in general, is 
and I completely understand like the text of this can be a little overwhelming I kept promising them I'm like once you get into it it is so much fun it's like a puzzle a logical puzzle that's doable and um, they thought I was crazy on Monday when I told them get into it it's not that big of a deal I did a little recap on them a little like here's what you're gonna see and when I seen them on Thursday they were like oh my goodness you are so right so that was so promising. So one of the things I told them I would do is I'm not sure that I could meet with them all the time, but what I would do is make them like little videos. Unfortunately, I'm not sharing my videos. These are just for my parents and giving them a little trailer to what they're going to be seeing or what's going to be seen in community day. So I'm still going through and I got to get all my stuff laid out and that's what I'm doing today. But I'm going to tell you coming in to just a few days, to doing community day for my first community day. I'm pretty excited. Um, we're gonna see how it goes. I'm really liking having to fulfill somebody else's um, schedule or fitting that into it instead of me having to decide everything. We're really having a great first week. Um, our first week before going into challenge A, my kids had to do a couple pages in this book and memorize like first declensions and why that first declensions are typically all female except if it's referencing a masculine you know topic like a sailor would be a man just go back in the times of latin being used a sailor would be a man um kind of deal and so we did that in reading the line of the witch in the wardrobe i still have to finish that book but it's getting loud in here and i just wanted to give you an update and just kind of give you like a little taste of what's going on and i told you guys i bring you for the journey for doing classical conversations and directing it and I'm really excited about doing this path, and I think it's going to work out really good. So I will talk to you later. Bye.